Hey everybody, how's it going? We are here for another edition of the Unis on Air third year anniversary gacha. I have waited many hours. I played a lot of uh, Splatoon 3 uh, to get my mind off of those gacha results. Hopefully you enjoyed the video at least. Um, you don't really see that kind of result often in a gacha. The chances of that happening is insane, right? So. Anyways, uh, we are here hoping to get Kyonko here. That's obviously my big, um, you know, that's the prize that I would love to get from this gacha. Uh, as you can see on the screen, I have refilled my uh, gem count with the magic of the plastic card. And, well, let's just get on with the gacha and hope we see something awesome out of it. Uh, we're going all the way to... And yes, I'm well aware that there's a login bonus uh, eventually that gives you a free temple, but obviously we're not going to wait that long. Uh, however, they did give the prize for the final uh, panel stage mission, which is of course two free tickets. Uh, so let's do that first and get those out of the way. And uh, of course anything can happen, but you know, mm, chances of that is pretty darn low. Um, we have a 0.9% chance to get Kyonko uh, here, you know, thanks to the Spotlight Live, which does allow you to shift the odds to a particular member, which, of course, in this case is Kyonko. Um, you know, people say that sometimes that, you know, you put that percentage and the game is going to play tricks with you, but eh, I mean, it's it's 0.6, right? 0.4% uh, versus 0.9%, right? Like, what do you really expect out of that? Um, okay, so we did leave off at uh, the second of three temples. So after this temple, we will be getting a free pull uh, after uh, hopefully a good result. Um, we, of course, are hoping to see, uh, you know, a bike outside is ideal. And then if you can get a monitor inside, that's good. But if you don't have both, it kind of uh, hurts the chances of it being a guaranteed SSR result. Um, but people do believe that at least the monitor inside has a higher rate. We'll see. Uh, we already saw previously that it doesn't mean anything for sure. Um, but, you know, it's fine. Six, seven... Eight, nine, ten. So another bakshi. <sighs> That's okay. Uh, we are now at the halfway point. Uh, well, I guess after the next paid pull, uh, because of course the free pulls do not contribute to your metal count. You're obviously not using any currency, so. Uh, Okay, we've got a monitor inside again, but nothing outside. So we've got the same situation. Uh, don't hold your breath. Five gold cards. That's not bad, but again, without any rainbow cards. Um, hard to get your hopes up. Because, I mean, obviously it's nice to get that upgrade, but... Oh! Ooh, Dakono! Very nice, very nice. Uh, she is, I believe, one of the good ones. Yeah, yeah, the 3.49. So, that is good to see. Love to bank one of those cards. So, yeah, I mean, getting new cards is obviously the best case situation. We are, of course, uh, looking to get as many cards as possible to help out with the current event. More cards mean more bonuses and an easier time to farm uh, points for the members. Uh, but, yeah, okay. Well, let's keep going. We are not stopping. Uh, another fast load, but... Yeah, I mean, I think the only thing at this point that we're going to see any... Uh, let's hold our breath uh, is... Well, I mean, this is great, but... We are guaranteed another card uh, from the third year anniversary event. Awesome. Um, but you know, any load could indicate a cut in from the actual member themselves. Uh, one, two, all right, two. come on, come on game. 
First one. Oh no, this must be Konokawar. Alright, let's see what the next SSR is. Okay, Manafi, there we go. We got another card. Uh, Manafi doesn't have any score bonus, so uh, that'll just be to increase the uh, score buff uh, in the event. But that is great that it's a unique card. I was getting a little worried there. We see Deja Vu again. And we end with the mana fee too. But we get our second Konoka card. Uh, again, I mean, sure, we get more keys. That's not bad. Uh, but a new card. That is really good. So let's keep going. We are in the 14th temple. Uh, or 14th uh, currency based pull. I guess this would mean we've had, what, four free temples at the moment too? Uh, we got a monitor, so maybe, maybe, just maybe we'll get something in here. There you go. Rainbow card. We get another SSR. Gold upgrade with Katoshi. We got Kyonko here in the R. And then another Katoshi in the SR flavor. We got Nibichan. Suzy. Kyonko. Katoshi, no upgrade. I believe the next one should be the rainbow. Mikuni, nice. Mikuni is also a very strong card with volume two. So that is a good get. So I got both of the level, uh, the 3% uh, top tier cards from this gacha. Uh, and you know, I'm holding out for hope that they do something for the new third gen. Uh, new second gen for Sakura Zaka because obviously, you know, I keep saying it's hard for them to compete in the current environment and of course with the new fourth gen members coming from Hinata Zaka and the third gen members for Sakura Zaka um, They've got to do something for them. Uh, otherwise, they're gonna be even a wor in an even worse position than uh, the current uh, second third gen members. So um, Nobody will be coming in again for Hinata Zaka. You want to have the tree, the plant on the left, covering the handle. If you see that, uh, then we are going to get somebody cut in. Uh, but we still get two SSRs uh, despite not having any confirmation. So let's hope it's somebody new. We've been getting a bunch of cards lately, so I think it was a good decision to take that break. Um, I am enjoying Splatoon a lot, by the way. Uh, didn't necessarily win very much. Uh, I am on Team Grub. Yatta! <laughs> Kyonko! We are not gonna hit the ceiling, my friends. Actually, maybe, uh, I'll think about it. There's also the other side of the, the gacha to play around with, but we have gotten all of the big hits for Volume 2 from Hinata Zaka. Let's see what this card is. We get an... Oh! Konsuki Otake! Konsuki Otake? Konsuki Otake. Okay. Uh, I mean, I want to be excited, but I don't remember if that's one of the cards on my shortlist that I really needed um, but I mean <sighs> praise all be whatever deity you believe in thank you uh, Kyonko Kyonko is a get and we get a free temple out of this so perfect timing for Kyonko to show up here uh, like I said um, I do have an SSR plus card in Suzy uh, who is filling in with the all 35% uh, but with Kyonko's extra bonus it makes up for the fact that it's not an SSR plus about what 10,000 points? Well, 1,000 points sorry uh, difference uh, made up through all of that and she is actually stronger with a 35% uh, versus 40% boost for the leader skill so Kyonko will be uh, usable for my green team and I don't have to go through the pain of SSR plusing her too which is great to see um, but I actually I really want to double check if 
combo bonus with score bonus. Actually, Otake, are you actually somebody that will make a difference in my purple team? Because purple has been a team that I haven't been able to change for a long time. Uh, I got a little Excel sheet going to, you know, help me organize what's good. Uh, well, she is in the top six in terms of strong purple cards, so I might have to actually sit down and crunch the numbers to see if it does make any changes. Uh, but that is really awesome to get. And actually, it's interesting that we really didn't get any, uh, you know, changes in, uh, or not changes, you know, other cards, right? Like, there's absolutely a chance you get non third year anniversary right, let me stop talking let's keep going with the gotchas um let's see i can pick somebody uh to pick up as well but um who do i want do i want a kaupa card or nibuchan Let's see, I need more points in Nibu, I think, right? So, I mean, again, it's a small difference, but let's see, Nibu is at 91, Kawada is at 97. Uh, you know what, let's just, let's, let's just go with Kawada. Free Temple, why not? We are getting that as a result of doing three temples and uh, we'll just see if we can't get some extra love uh, there uh, boring outside we got a sofa on the inside that means nothing uh, bum, 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 bum. I really do like the BGM that they've got going for this too it's nice and I don't know. What's the right word? Regal? I don't know. Um, but I don't think we're going to get any love from this free temple, but it doesn't matter. I am such a happy camper already. Alright, so that's it. Um, I do have enough for one last temple. So um, let's go to volume one for Hinatazaka. And uh, let's see if we can't get anything out of this. Um, of course, I do have the rate up on Koshakana there. Because, uh, I, I mean, I did say in the previous video that Ushio would make a difference. But I don't. I have not leveled up Ushio high enough to get any multiplier bonuses. Uh, nobody's going to be coming in to cut in here. So, uh, you know, so that just leaves me with the other strong card, which is, of course, Kosakana. Um, and... Okay! I mean, six gold cards isn't bad. We'll hold our breath to see if we can get any upgrades. Um, of course, since this is a yell event, you should be able to get some gems here and there as you are farming for each member. You do get to do that for both Hinatazaka and Sakurazaka, regardless of what card you have. Um, those bonuses pool up uh, just in total. And I think we are done. So I'll probably do the rest of these pulls off camera. Um, but, um, you know, you know, it is a little tempting, but nine temples is a lot. That's almost, that's another, what, 200 bucks? So... Uh, no thank you um i am quite happy as it is right now whatever gems i can scrounge up uh from uh you know the event sure i'll feed it back into this uh and okay if i get really close maybe maybe i'll be tempted uh to buy one of those small packs uh i mean well you know why not i'll show you what the packs look like in this game for the right they do have this 5000 gem pack which does give you materials which I sorely am uh, lacking on. I've been, of course, buying this just gem package here where you get an additional 2,000 gems for free, uh, which, you know, you can see that the normal price for 10,500 um, 
you know, in a standard pack here is, you know, the same price. So, you know, getting that bonus is nice. They've also got a sale, uh, you know, three, three uh, opportunities to pick up 1500 gems for a pretty discounted price. Uh, and also, you know, I think I've said it in my Monster Strike video, there's also worry that uh, starting, well, no worry, they are going to do this. Starting October 5th in Japan, they are going to be raising the prices because of, you know, the... I guess the weak yen versus the dollar um, has been, uh, I guess, you know, cost, not cost effective. I don't know what's the right word there, but um, they need to increase the prices. So people are afraid that, you know, these kind of mobile games will also go up in price to, uh, you know, to stay in line with that. I don't know what's going to happen there, but uh, results here really great I mean we got a nice haul of cards here for not that many pulls so uh, this is you know the kind of result that you want to see right uh, now again do I want to do more yes but do I want to pay more no um, I mean you know of course with uh, Kyonko being uh, center you know I I went full pa full blast into the meet, meet and greets that they have online uh, that costs a pretty penny. I only won, what, 13 slots out of a possible 45? Uh, but that's a decent amount of money there. I also purchased goods for the for the, uh, single, right? They had a pen light, a new towel that you see, you know, I usually... Oh, one of them fell down again. Um, that I hang behind me, got a new towel there, got a bunch of, you know, new photos of the, the members. I'll, of course, do an unboxing on that. Uh, when it gets here, hopefully it gets here safe. Um, so there's been a lot of purchases lately. So uh, I don't want to go too crazy um, with this stuff. So, um, but anyways, you know, the fact that we got basically all, uh, all of the new cards, our third year anniversary event. We did get one instance of, I think it was Konoka, a dupe Konoka, right? Uh, in the middle somewhere, but... You know, getting a new Otake card, which actually does look like it may break into my purple team. I am really excited to see where she can fit. But of course, getting Kyonko here, I didn't even have to use a sign pen. She actually came out signed for me. Um, you know, that's... This is the Kyonko is power, right? Uh, I am super happy uh, to get this without hitting the ceiling. Uh, hitting the ceiling is a painful, painful process that you know you don't want to look at your bill afterwards you think about the pain getting there um i think last year right like i tried to do that for kawada in the end uh only to have her be outclassed pretty much right away with the next ssr plus uh so that was a little bit of a sting uh but uh you know that's the reality of the this game right you're just constantly evolving cards newer cards will come in outclassing the older ones I mean, didn't think it would outclass it that quickly, but, um, you know, so, so it be. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I think, ah, but the problem is green. I'm really, I'm really lacking on green materials. So, uh, I actually wonder how much I can actually unlock off the bat. You know, I'm going to have to farm for material. Yeah, look at that. That's not great. Uh, so of course this game is, I guess, a little clever about, you know, you don't really get huge opportunities to farm for these materials. You get to buy a little here and there. You can actually buy them with real money as you saw. Um, but, you know, I'm hoping with an update that they do something to make it a little bit more accessible to get more materials uh, in an efficient manner. Um, but of course the big thing, you're getting another plus one for affinity bonus. Uh, Kyonko uh, by far has the highest affinity. I mean, you would, you would expect that, right? Like you see me chasing for Kyonko all the time. Uh, she is naturally going to be the highest uh, affinity pointed uh, member in this entire game. Uh, right? Like, I mean, it's pretty pitiful what my stats are on Sakura Zakasai, so I won't show you that, but I can get up to, I am at 138 for Kyonko, which I'm proud of. Um, you know, obviously I don't have the full set, so it's not the the highest. I can't compete in the top 10 for the spotlight for Kyonko, unfortunately. Uh, but I can I can reliably get in the top 1%, so I'm happy about that. 
Anyways, uh, I think I've padded out this video long enough to uh, simulate if I was still uh, gotcha-ing. Um, you know, like, you know, there was a prospect that I could have had to done uh, up to uh, 12 more temples, right? Nine more temples, and then I would get three more free ones after that. So uh, that's how much it would have taken to hit the ceiling. So, uh, you know, the timing, I think it wouldn't be too suspicious, right? It's not too short that you'd be like, oh, okay. Scott got it early. Uh, and if you're still watching to the end, I, I tip your hat because uh, I appreciate you uh, humoring me with my uh, my passion, I guess, outside of Monster Strike. Uh, anyways, uh, I am going to enjoy uh, developing these cards. Uh, I'm going to be in the hole for these materials, so I'm going to be on this for quite a while. But that's what the weekend's for, right? Having a lot of fun with farming. <laughs> There's also the Splatfest still going on. So, Anyways, that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. I appreciate your viewership anyways. Uh, until next time, bye-bye.